All right, tubes, here we go. This might be the big day. Yep. Mike is here. Mike is uh, putting his terminals on here. I don't know if you see these, but uh, he's trying to get the old-fashioned kind that, that are held on with the clip or the, the terminal. He's going to put some, uh, going to use our Packer 440 uh, solid core. Real spark plug wire. Real spark plug wire. We got our uh, distributor all cleaned up and painted. Looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Got new caps. Yeah, new rubber new caps. Distributor boots. New boots. Boots. Mike knows what they're called. And what else? What else we got going on here, Mike? Oh, look. I put a decal on there and it looks like it failed. You know? I put it on and then it, it got real cold in here overnight, so it's peeling. Mm. I've never had a, a, a water slide do that to me, so I'm going to mm. see if I can salvage that. If not, I'll have to try another one. It's a shame. They're not cheap. Okay, so uh, Mike got the solder out here and the solder gun. Yep. You can do a little solder, Mike? Yep. Do it right. Okay. All right. We're going to get to work on this. Like I said, this is the big day. I think uh, we're going to try and start this today. We might mock up a, a cart for it to hold it and put a put starter, starter on it. Yep. So, uh, give it a shot. Let's, uh, let's get started and see what we can do. All right. All ready. All right, I applied some uh, water behind there, and it seems to be sitting flat now, but I don't know what's going to happen when it uh, dries completely. Maybe it just wasn't enough glue on the back of that or something. Hmm. You should stabilize. I know. I hate that that happened. All right. All right, Mike's got all his wires here soldered up and cut to size. Yeah. We're only going to hook this up temporarily. We're not going to mount anything yet, but... Uh, Squeeze them together, Mike. Show where show where them wires gonna go. Uh, Let me get out of your way. Or better yet, you get out of my way. Here you go. So they're gonna lie something like this. Gotta come right over. You go along the along the cylinder heads yeah. here. Okay. So it's just like this. So it gets a nice little each one of them gets a nice little uh, hook Please. to it. Right. Nice this will be down this will be down a little bit like that. Yeah. So that like that. That'll look like that. We just got to get little little hooks to hold them together. Yep. Okay, but we're not going to worry about that right now. No. We're worried about getting this thing running. Right. All right. Let's go. Did we check that coil, Mike? No, we didn't. We can get that real quick. Oh. You figure if it's in here, it runs? Well. Bad assumption. We've been, we've been fooled by that before. <laughs> All right. Let's let's check it before we uh, kill ourselves. All right. All right. Let's see what Mike's got going on over here. We're probably running to here, Mike. Well, being as we want the starter generator at the back of the engine, we need one that rotates counterclockwise because right. and when we're when we're done with this engine, the starter generator is going to be mounted below right, it under get, be, right below it under it, and the armature will be right below the cylinders. Right. So it'll have to rotate counterclockwise. We thought we had one back that here. Did. Watch your hand. Yeah. We thought we had a, a counterclockwise one there. But we do not. Like the Cub Cadets have, but turns out that's just a regular starter generator. And this one here is actually off of uh, Mike's Panzer Meteor. Meteor right. Panzer. Off the Meteor. And um, so, uh, so we have to mount it like this just to, just to get it running. We're just going to get it started. Right. But uh, Mike is going to change that around and make that counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. Unless we find, uh, find one laying around. Right. Okay, so that's what we got going on here. Just about to, we gotta hang a fuel tank and then what? Do a little bit of electrical wiring and then we'll that's be ready right. To go. Solenoid, we got a solenoid sitting there. Yep. Okay. Not long now. No. Let's uh, let's clean up the area and see what we can do. Keep going. Just about ready there, Mike. Yeah. Just got all the wiring done. Just gonna check spark on just one of the cylinders, to make sure it's all right. And let me come over here and get it away. Got a new new condenser on there. Gonna try it out. Got a key switch for ignition. Okay, we're gonna do down on the block. Yeah, around on the bolt there. Let's see. Looks pretty good. Awesome. That ought to start it. Yeah. Huh. Let's see what you got here. You got your generator hooked up, right. your solenoid hooked up. Right. You got a key generator. switch. Right. You're right. all good to Ignition go. Coil, everything. How about your throttle there? What, what do you call this? Wow, our little temporary throttle. <laughs> yeah. Look at Vroom, 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 vroom. Easy. All right. Yeah. Anyone over rev it? All right. And we got our uh, gas tank. 
over here on a, on a pole. Alright, let's uh, hook the gas up and uh, see this thing run. Uh, Alright, yeah. rolling. We're rolling, Mike. Alright. Let's uh, give it a try. First try. Let me get over here. Alright, go ahead. Let me get out of the way of that fan belt. Oh, that sounded cool, didn't it? carburetor out. I'm not at the Lorto carburetor. No. Well, you're Italian. <laughs> you got a better chance than me. Yeah. Um, okay. I guess, because, you know, when I when I push the throttle all the way in, I feel like a vacuum forming. Yeah. I mean, well, that's probably what it is. You're supposed to have a spring. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have it. Almost. Interesting. What if I give it a little bit more juice? There is also an adjustable needle there. What happened? Suck you in? No, I just got lit. Oh! <laughs> you're the one that told me to watch out for him. Wow. Huh. Okay. It sounds like it's going to start. You just got to figure out yeah, the, the right mixture. Just, yeah. Just, you know... Well, go ahead. Uh, take a break. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this needle another bump. Okay. We'll get back to you. Shut this down. Alright. What are you doing now, Mike? Well, this needle here is adjustable. With these, see these notches on here? Oh yeah, right. I don't know if the tubes can see it. I don't, I don't, this camera ain't very good at close-ups, but okay. I think they could see it. Well, you know, if you want to richen it up a little bit, like it was, it was in the about there. I'm going to bring it out another notch. Let's see, right about there, and uh, put the clip back in, richen it up a little bit, a little throttle cable. Hmm. It should run it a little easier. Actually, sounded pretty good when it was wrong. Yeah, when it was trying to go. Yeah. Yeah. I think it'll be. I think it'll be all right. Yeah. Well, like you say you didn't find two nothing yet, so. I'm surprised it even ran. You know, what I mean, for everything we've done to this. Mm-hmm. This ran. This actually ran better than a regular uh, lawnmower. Okay. Got some fuel. Get your gas on. Let's try it again. All right. Ready to go? Oh, the key. The key. There it is. Put your key there. I want to be stealing your yeah, uh, stealing car. Yeah. All right. Wow. Not bad, huh, buddy? Not bad at all. Just chugging right along. I should have brought the tachometer out. Oh man. Not too bad, huh? No. Here you go. You keep going. I'm going to go get the tech on with it. All right. What do you want? What do you think of that, huh? Sorry about that, Tubes. I had my hand in front of it. Oh, 
Oh man, I think I flooded it. Ah. Oh no. Let me get around here. Let me check uh, the temperature. Everybody's, everybody's concerned about the temperature of this thing. So, uh, look at that. The exhaust is only 150 degrees. Let me check that one. I'm well, checking your hand, Mike. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Yeah, that one's, that one's only 140. Alright, that epoxy is good for 500 degrees. Everybody's worried about this. And the heads and the cooling. Yeah. Let's check this. Check the temperature of the heads here. 130 degrees. Yeah, I don't see any cooling problems here, buddy. Let's check a head. 150. Okay. Me and Mike are going to uh, let it run for a little while and then we're going to take temperatures again. All right. Let's uh, let me just, let's check the temperatures. Everybody was so concerned about temperatures. We got a fluke, uh, top of the line fluke minigun here. <laughs> uh, well, back, you got? back cylinder is about 180. I think it went up to one. Oh, there it is. There you about go. 190, 190 tops around the head. Uh, at the head, it's about 260. All right, that's all acceptable. Yeah. All the Everybody was worried about that. Looking. Oh, sorry. There you go. You well, now see. I got a glare. All right, right there. Okay. 314. Right? Yeah, the epoxy is yeah, good for 500 degrees. Yeah, up to 320. Everybody was concerned about that. Um, Give me a couple more to the, the, the cylinder, or not the cylinder. The exhausts. Yeah. 330. All right. Get the other one. 330. They're all the same. Yeah. yeah. That one's a little bit less. Well, first, right, the first in the run, you know? Yeah, that's right next to the, the cooler. Yeah. All right. Now, give me all the heads. Um, well, looks like about 230. Okay. Oh, about 240, well, no, maybe 230, hang on, sorry. There you go, okay. About 245, 250. And that last one here. Uh, about 245, right? Right, yeah. Okay. All right. How about the cylinders? Give me all cylinders. Uh, over here? Yeah. Headed up in there. Looking at 194, 190, 195. Yeah. Well, that's plenty cool. Yeah. Trying to look in there, about 196. Yeah, same. They're all about the same. They're all under 200 degrees, so. Yeah, 20, a little bit warmer here. Oh, yeah. no, a little bit cooler, actually. Yeah, actually. I was hitting the exhaust the last time. Yeah, yeah so. Uh, 190. All right, well, there you go, tubes. Everybody was concerned. And the carburetor, worried about the carburetor not being able to fuel all four cylinders. Seemed to do all right. Yeah, and they're worried about the cooling. We, this thing's cooler than a, than a regular engine. What's that? Ah. I'm just curious. There we go. Yeah, I'm getting some glare. Okay, 110. Yeah. yeah. And the exhaust here or the, the intake. The intake. Yeah, the intake's passing a little bit of heat, but you know, right. it's gonna yeah. happen. It's, it's gonna come right off of the head. Exactly. Okay. That's alright. See, that's the only thing I was concerned about because I just used regular epoxy on that, so I didn't think it would get that hot, but it seems to be okay. We'll see what happens. So uh Well there you go, tubes. That's uh our preliminary uh test then. We're, yeah. we're pleased with it. I'm real happy with it. How about you, Mike? I am. That's, that's really something. Yeah, I'll say. Now we just got to put on. We got to mount on a cart and uh, mount the generator where you can't see it and stuff like that. Yep. And we're we're good to go. Put a little carburetor hat on. Right. Yeah. The Lacorn. Lacorn hat. So that's it. Stick with us too until we uh, finish it up. But at least you guys got to see it run. I'm real tickled with it, Mike. And it's. Just Nice. It did. It's, it's just, been a few. It's been a been a been a while. Been a process. It has. Uh, been a challenge, but I think we uh, we conquered it all. Yep. All right, tubes. This is probably going to be a long video, so uh, it'll be good enough for now. Say goodbye to tubes, Mike. See you later. Thanks for watching, tubes.